hello and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new my name is randacia or randy for short and in today's video i am going to be basically tearing apart these sticker books so that i can make diy seasonal sticker books So these are all of the sticker books that I have that are that will be considered seasonal. So I have Christmas Joy. I think this is the first Christmas sticker book. I'm not sure at this point. Um, I have Winter, um, Fall, Summer, um, Spring, uh, the Seasonal Gold. That's what I call it. But it's this one and then the squad goes so that's all of the seasonal sticker books that I have um, disclaimer I have already torn some pages out of these sticker books um, for like a D stash because I already knew that some of the stickers I wasn't going to use so I don't know how many I've torn out so if my sticker books look different from your sticker books um, that is why so um, this one this DIY sticker book I've had for quite some time now. It's like one of the first ones I put together, but this is all my florals. But I'm not really a floral person, but I do like to decorate with florals. But I haven't really been reaching for this, even though I like all of these florals, because I don't know, it's just when I'm decorating, I need it all together. So if it's not together and I have to reach for like something that I don't normally use like florals, I'll never reach for it. So I'm gonna tear, or I'm gonna separate this DIY sticker book into seasons as well. And that way, um, when I'm working within my seasonal spread, I can reach for those seasonal florals as well. And then this one is um, my actual DIY seasonal sticker book that I originally um, put together so I'm gonna tear this one apart first and I'm gonna make like different piles so that I can keep myself organized and this video can like flow smoothly so let me take apart this one first And I'm also going to, um, I forgot to say, I'm also going to make piles for uh, specific holidays that I like to decorate for. So like 4th of July, um, Valentine's Day, Christmas, um, and Halloween mostly. So those are going to be like mini piles. And I'm going to put those, once I create the mini piles, I'll put it back with the uh, with the actual season that it falls into. Like I'm going to separate all of the 4th of July. 4th of July into its own pile and then once I'm all done I'm going to put the 4th of July back into the summer pile if that makes sense and I'm going to be getting rid of sheets that like this they only have like two stickers um, I'm just going to peel off the sticker paper and then I'm going to keep the actual sheet just because I like to keep the sheet for um, various different DIY projects so And as I go through, I'm gonna try to combine sheets like this where it's like, it might have two stickers, but I don't wanna throw them away like um, another sheet. I'm gonna try to combine them so that I have less sheets, but you know, I still have the stickers. And these quote stickers what I'm gonna do is separate them into the pile um, the different seasonal piles according to the colors like this um, this is pretty neutral but blue and the fact that it's more like um, faith I'm gonna put it with a Christmas because that's probably when I'll use it um, these are more like bright colors so I would either use these in um, spring or summer but I'm gonna put them in spring because the earlier I use them the more they stay in my memory so even though they're in the spring pile if I go over to summer then um, 
I could actually remember that I have quotes from spring that could go with summer. So that's kind of how I'm going to use, like do that. I'm going to put this one with fall. These, this style I'll probably use in summer. Um, these have like all of the seasons on them. So I'm going to mostly put them with spring since they're colorful um i know this sheet went with mother's day and like the script is more loopy so i'm gonna put that with like my mother's day pile to be put back with spring just for reference like i know that the seasons start typically like mid-month so um just for the sake of this video and basically how i'm doing things um winter will be just january um because that's when i typically use my winter stickers february will be valentine's day um because that's typically all i use during february is valentine's day stickers um march will be spring like the start of the spring stickers and the start of the spring pile and florals and stuff like that as well as um anything green that i could use for uh saint patrick's day but i'm kind of like phasing out getting stickers for St. Patrick's Day just because I don't celebrate it and there are other holidays um like International Women's Day that I rather I'd rather celebrate and decorate my planner to celebrate um in the month of March and then May will continue to be spring um as well as Mother's Day and then June will be the start of summer as well as Father's Day and then July, August will also be um, summer, but July will be 4th of July as well. And then August will be summer, um, but with back to school. So back to school could be either August or September. But for right now, since I love fall so much, I like to do all fall starting September 1st. So back to school for me gets pushed to August. And then September, of course, will start fall. Um just all things fall and those type of colors and then October will be fall but mostly October is just nothing but Halloween and then November will go back to fall and then it will be Thanksgiving um, mainly like uh, pumpkins and quotes that have like gratefulness in it um, I don't really use too many pumpkins for September, but I'll use just a little bit, but most heavily I put pumpkins in November and then December is all Christmas. So that's how I'm separating my piles and like my thought process of making my different piles, just in case anybody was wondering. And just in case I did something that didn't really make sense. Oh yeah. And, um, Easter will be in spring for like March or April. I'll make, I'll start, a. Uh... Easter pile but it seems like I used all of my Easter stickers from this so there's only one that says cook a meal for mom but more than likely I will want that sticker especially for this year because I'm planning on um asking husband to um do like a little um like a breakfast uh what do you call it like a breakfast buffet for all the mothers in our family so that's what i'm thinking in the back of my head but we'll see what happens and then this little pile over here is mostly mom life stuff and i do have um the mom life sticker book so i'm just going to put these with those uh with that sticker book so what we have so far is spring summer fall winter mother's day valentine's day fourth of july um halloween and saint patrick's day so that was all of my um seasonal diy sticker book that i originally made broken down so now i'm gonna move on to my florals and um like these rings and all the materials that you see for my diy projects and like what i'm using in this video will be linked down in the description as usual sorting florals is kind of hard because for me i like specific types of flowers like i like abstract and watercolor flowers and then um 
leaves i don't know if they have a specific name but i call them leaves so like uh let's see oh i need to put this on the front oh here we go so like this i like these for like the fall and winter time so that's what i mean by leaves and then of course anything boho i like as well and then i have my floral and fauna together but i'm gonna just take the fauna out and i don't know figure out where i'm gonna put this I'm having a hard time with this sheet. I want to stick it in spring, but I also want to stick it in summer. Where would you guys stick this? Let me know down in the comments because I'm like really actually torn. For right now, I'm going to stick it in summer. These two, they're kind of like giving me spring and summer. <sighs> Let's see. We'll put them in spring. These I'll put in summer. Um, the color palette I'm going for in the summer from now on is going to be a um, silver hollow and like neons type color. Let's just put them in summer because I'm not a huge fan of summertime. So I'm not expecting my summer pile to be that big. So yeah. These anything that's like um just all foil or black and white i'm going to put in fall because that's more than likely when i'm going to use those type of stickers Ooh, but these ones are rose gold i don't typically use rose gold in the fall time i normally use it in like the springtime for like especially for mother's day so i'm gonna put these up here in the spring when um for like my mother's day pile i would probably use these in the fall fall i absolutely love this color foil this copper color one of my absolute favorite favorite foil colors i don't typically use um florals in the winter time so I think most of the florals that would that I would end up using in the winter time is gonna go in the um, fall pile because I would use these in the winter time. These give me like winter vibes. But like I said, I'm not thinking of um, florals for winter. I'm thinking of more like snowflakes and generic snowmen things like that. Roses, I would probably use in the spring. Spring or summer? I'm gonna put them with spring because, like I said, summertime, not a fan. It gets super hot down here in Southern California, so I want to stick with a color palette that will bring me tremendous joy, which is silver hollow and neon colors and just like brights. And that's the only time I really use bright colors is the summertime, so. I want to try as much as possible to put all of them in the summer pile. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and break open this squad girls or squad goals. And also um, just a tip for anybody that is like kind of anxious about te tearing their sticker books apart later after i had developed like a huge um sticker book collection i tore my sticker books apart and then once i started like trying to do um spreads on youtube i would want to tell you guys where the stickers were from but i had already tore them out of my sticker books so i put them all back together highly do not recommend but um i really wanted to be able to tell you guys where stickers were from like the sticker books so when I put them all back together, I wrote the name of the sticker book on each of the sticker sheets on the back so that um, 
if ever I wanted to tear the sticker books apart like I'm doing right now, if I wanted to put them back together, it would be easy for me because I wrote the name of the sticker book that it belongs to on the back of each sheet. So all I have to do is just, you know, put everything back together. And I will also tear, um, I would keep the front and the back um, just for sturdiness because I will put it back together like this and then I will put the ring back on it just for sturdiness. Um, but um, one thing I'm thinking about too is getting that sticker book that uh, Happy Planner came out with where it's like, it has like a metal knob on it and then um, it has like a clear sheet. I'll, put, I'll post it up on the screen. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but just in case you don't, um, I'll post it on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, my only problem with those is that you can only fit so much into that one sticker book. So if someone has that sticker book, I would love to know how how many sticker books do you think um, you fit on that one um, like DIY sticker book that the Happy Planner sold. Because if I could fit like three sticker books at least, um, I would be more inclined to buy it. But I've just held off just because I'm kind of like, do I get like pay more money for that type of storage or do I just stick with my O-rings? Um, Cause I can fit a lot on my O-rings. So if, but if I could fit more on those DIY um, sticker books that Happy Planner are selling, they're fairly inexpensive too, especially if you catch them on sale at um, a planner store or a craft store. Um, but yeah. So let me know down in the comments your thoughts about those. So I love seasonal sticker books, like the old time seasonal sticker books that Happy Planner made because it's like super easy to pull apart and like figure out what to put where because it's all organized. So this one is going pretty quick. And you'll realize that my fall pile like that's the one that has most of the stickers missing just because I love decorating for fall and that's when I get um mostly inspired to like keep up with my planners is during the fall time the first half of the year I'm like yeah I'll get to it when I get to it okay so that was squad goals next I'm gonna pull apart this seasonal gold sticker book So these sticker books are very um, season specific. So this is going to go by fast. Um, I'm gonna start a New Year's Eve pile over here. It's probably gonna be off camera, but that's where it's gonna be. Um, this is all winter. And I will go back eventually and separate the winter from the Christmas. But the sticker books that Happy Planner made, um, their winter is definitely Christmas oriented. Um, so yeah. So once we get to these actual seasonal sticker books, I am going to be more selective and start pulling out sheets that I know I'm not going to use which is like the main reason of me um, breaking down my sticker books right now because I'm trying to de-stash them. And um, like I'm trying to de-stash the sticker sheets that I know I'm not gonna use so that my sticker collection is more select and kind of like represents more of me and how I like to plan. And also I need to be able to plan around the house with the twins I could be in like literally any room especially on the weekends when my um toddler is home for the day and it's just me and the kids like I need to be able to plan anywhere so the less stickers and like stuff that I have to tote around with me the better so 
so I like the decorative elements on this page so I'm gonna keep this but as for these colorful boxes I don't really use these they're super cute don't get me wrong but the ones that are like colored colorful boxes I definitely don't use so I will be just stashing these and then um, I just find that I don't really use boxes like i'm um looking more for just decorative stuff for my seasonal sticker books now so all of these boxes i will be getting rid of um just because um some of them i will keep actually i probably will keep this sheet but like the full boxes and the half boxes and all that that have like these elements in them i don't really like them just because i like my um colorful boxes to be plain with just like just the colorful box colorful box so i will definitely be destashing all of those i love these quotes so i'm keeping all of these um i do like the um design of these stickers so i'll keep these i like the colors on here i'll probably use those 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 i like these headers i definitely do not use these um for the most part so even though i could use these i don't feel like i should keep the whole sheet just because um you know, I might use these, so I'm gonna de stash those. I love the decorative full boxes, so I'm keeping all of these. And then, like, these are the boxes that I'm talking about like, decorate the edges and everything like that. But I don't like stuff in my box unless it's like something functional, like noted today, um, meeting, something like that. Okay, so next one up is summer. So keeping this page, getting rid of this, keeping this page, getting rid of these. I'm keeping this, this, the quotes. Um, I like this page, this page, this page, this page, getting rid of this page. I like these. So next one is fall. Okay, so here goes the fall pile. Um, before I do that, I've decided for these um, since these are mostly mermaid and like ocean theme, I'm gonna stick these in the summer. And then for these, um, I probably will use these for something related to my kids and with the colors, um, they're either going to be spring or summer. And like I said, they're going to probably be used when I do something with my kids. So I'm going to put these in the summer pile. And if I need them for any other season or reason, then I'll know where they are. But for right now, let's get back to this. Um, let's do that. D-stash, that. D-stash, D-stash, that. Um, these are cute, but I don't like the circles, but I do like the little leaves that can definitely be used. So I'm going to keep it. This, I don't care for the squirrels, but I like everything else, especially the foliage. So I'll keep that. Okay, so this color palette in the fall, um, in the fall sticker book was my absolute favorite for fall. Like I absolutely love this color palette. As you can see, like I used a lot of it. Um, I'm going to toss this one, keep, 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 toss, that, 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 okay. Let's 
getting thick. All right, so we're going to toss those. All right, so second to last sticker book is winter. And I will say this winter sticker book, I love the color palette in this as well. It's one of my favorite by Happy Planner. So we're gonna keep that page. Um, toss, keep, toss, toss. So it seems like I actually really didn't mind this color scheme for the boxes or I think this was probably the first book that I tried to use these ones even though I love the colors as well, I don't think they just worked out. So I don't care for these and then the rest of them, um, what are these poinsettias? I don't really decorate with those. So I'll put those to the side, keeping all the scripts. I actually use dots, the bird I don't really care for and the poinsettias, but everything else I like. So I'm gonna keep it and try to use it up next year. I like this. Okay, so that is winter. Toss that. Okay, so here comes the actual Christmas book. And I have de-stashed a lot of the stuff that was in this book already, so it should be mostly decorative, but we'll see. So, I don't have a Christmas pile yet, so let's scoop these over so I can make a Christmas pile. Um, even though I do have a holiday budget, I probably won't use this, so I'm going to toss or de-stash this one shopping to buy holiday gift list dinner menu I like this Black Friday um, sticker but everything else like the holiday gift list and the dinner menu is just way too small and I don't want to have to force myself to use this when I could just de-stash it so the same thing with this sheet I like this one this one um i can get rid of this one i like this one this one this one this one oh wait i'm going into my winter so that was the end of my christmas stack so when I go back through my winter stack, um, I'm sure there's some things that I could put in this Christmas stack, but I'm actually glad to see this Christmas stack um, be so thin just because, you know, Christmas is only a month and I am definitely finding out that once December hits, like my planning goes out the window and I'm just like doing. So it'd be nice to get this pile down even further so that I could probably just like buy sticker sheets like a sticker sheet for each planner because i really again don't really be in my planners in december so um yeah but once i go through this i'm sure this pile will grow and looking at it i honestly really decorate for the holidays because i really have no holiday stickers and this is all my seasonal holiday type stuff except for um except for these couple of stickers where um, I took them off of other sticker sheets and kind of like lined them up so that they would like all of my script stickers that were seasonal would be in the same place. But I'm pretty much down to like a couple of pages. So, and then it goes into my, my dates and month stickers. So I really only have these three pages, but the thing is, um, 
you know what actually I can do that off camera I'm gonna take these three pages off so that this stack right here can just be my months and my dates that I'm determined to use up because going forward in 2023 hopefully I'll be using nothing but um, dated planners so we'll see but I'm gonna put this one back and I'm just gonna keep this one out and put it to the side because what I'm gonna do is once I rip all the stickers off of here um, I, and I have others this is just an example once I take all the stickers off of here I'm gonna separate these three um, sticker pages into seasons so that I can put each page with you know with whatever um, seasonal stack it should go in so like I could put all of Mother's Day and all of the holidays that fall into spring on one sheet and then put it with my spring pile and then so on and so forth so I can actually use these up since they're so date specific um, I'm not a back planner so um, once the day is gone it's gone and I have to wait until the next year to use it so I'd rather use it uh, this year so I'm gonna just put those to the side to do off camera but um, yeah so looking at this I'm actually quite surprised well actually if I was to take out all of um, my fall leaves or not leaves my fall florals I wouldn't have that big of a fall stack because I was about to say I'm pretty surprised that my fall stack is the thickest just because those are the ones um, that I use the most so yeah I'm just gonna put that back there so yeah looks like fall I will be doing a lot of floral spreads so I can get rid of some of those florals this year and dwindle that pile down and I'm not surprised that um, spring and summer are like my thickest piles because again I really don't really plan like I'm not really inspired to plan the first half of the year but I'm working on color palettes that um, will make me want to plan so let's see this one I'm gonna put in with winter just because uh, that's when I typically uh, will start to look to do um, New Year spread is in the winter time um, right after Christmas so I'm gonna put um, New Year's with the winter I'm gonna put the Easter with the spring um, also Valentine's Day I'm gonna put with the winter um, 4th of July I'm gonna put with summer um, Halloween of course goes with fall and then uh, St. Patrick's Day is in March pretty sure so uh, March is going to be in my spring pile. So what I'm going to do, how I'm going to organize these is I'm going to take the sticker covers. I'm going to like, depending on how thick they are, like if it's a thick stack like this, I'm going to cut off um, the front and the back like I'm going to separate it and I'm going to put one on the front and the back so it's like together and it has more uh, sturdiness to it like more support in the pile but if it's thin like Christmas um, and I don't expect it to grow I'm just gonna do the front cover so yeah so let me just do that really quick so all I'm gonna use for Christmas since it's so thin and even once I go through winter I don't expect it to be huge um, I'm just gonna do the front cover for my winter um, stack so I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these so that I have um, some sturdiness and some, some support uh, for my piles um, I was thinking to give fall a front and a back well, yeah, I'm gonna give it a front and a back for right now, but in the future, I'm probably gonna toss this one because the only reason why 
um, fall would get this thick again is if I kept fall um, with Halloween but but even then I'm thinking that it shouldn't get this thick again we'll see but here goes summer Okay, and so for these two, I'm just going to toss them because I'm not going to have like a generic seasonal anymore and I'm not going to have squad goals, of course, so I'm going to just toss these. Okay, so I am going to organize these piles just um, a little bit more so that when I reach for them, they're in the order that I want. So let me do um, summer for an example. And then I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. So summer front cover, oops, summer back cover. So what I'm thinking is I want to be able to use up a lot of stuff this year. So I'm going to use the stuff that's more date specific. I'm going to put it more towards the front. So like holidays, this is, these animals are generic. Um, the mermaids and stuff are generic. I can use it any time of the month is what I mean by generic. Um, let me just pick this up and flip. So after the holidays, what I'm thinking is the scripts. So I can use those up. Especially if we like go to the beach, like I want to be able to use that script sticker. So scripts more decorative um this one has like stuff about fireworks so i'm gonna put it and it's more like a um bucket list type of sheet so i'm gonna put it more up front okay so here goes all the squad goal stuff um i'm gonna put that more towards the front just because i do want to try and use that up since it's a themed um it was a themed sticker book. It's still generic, so it's gonna go behind everything that I just said, but I wanna I want it to be like the first in the generic pile. So it seems like all my florals are about to start. And I do want to use up my florals, so especially these. One of you gave me these, and these are my absolute favorites since I'm in Southern California. I'm gonna put this one more not in the front front but more with like decor it's not really a floral and same with those pineapples put that more towards the front And then this one, I just want to use up. So I'm going to put that more towards the front. Here goes some more quotes. But they're just like generic. So I'm going to put those in the back of the quotes. And then here's just more decor. So there's that. This one has a St. Patrick's Day sticker. So I'll probably move this one off camera into my spring pile. Hmm. Let me just set that to the side. This is like a bucket list. So I'm going to put that one towards the front. And this one too. And this one. Um, this one is more of a quote. Like generic quotes. Um, this one has to do with the 4th of July. Like just this one. So... I want to use that one I'm gonna put it with 4th of July and then these two honestly I'm not really crazy about these boxes so I'm gonna just de-stash those okay so this is gonna go with the generic decor and I want to use up this sheet so I'm gonna put that in the front of the decor put that in the back so what I'm gonna how I'm gonna order it is um, I really want to use up the 
the date specific stuff so I'm gonna put that more towards the front so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the holidays first and then I'm gonna put the bucket list so the holidays the bucket list um because i have more time to complete the bucket list then you know the holidays is just one sheet so i'm actually gonna put that behind there so it looks more like you know the holiday section so bucket list and then i'm going to put the quotes just because those are kind of like um specific in that if we do go like camping or something then um these will be right there for me to look at and i won't forget to use them so i'm going to put the quotes and then i do want to use up more florals so i'm going to put the florals next and then i'm going to put all of like the generic uh seasonal decor type stickers and like boxes and stuff like that so things that i can use at any point in time during the season so that is how I'm going to order like the actual seasonal books. So put my ring back on, make sure all the pages are on there. I could probably do a smaller ring. Let me actually go get it. So this is the pack that I bought of like all the rings. They come in three different sizes, so like a large, a medium, and a small. So I'm pretty sure it's just the three. There might be one in between this size, but um, I might be using them all right now. But yeah, they do come in various sizes, so that's why I chose this pack. And again, if you want to uh, purchase these, I get I did get them off of Amazon, so I will link it below. Okay, so let me change out this ring really quick. Okay, so that is my summer DIY sticker book. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them off camera. Um, but you guys got the gist. Um, I hope you enjoyed organizing sticker sheets and sticker books with me. Um, and if you did, please give the video a big thumbs up so that I know you enjoy these type of videos. And Because I have more to do. I didn't... I'm not just breaking down seasonal sticker books. I'm like going through my um, sticker collection and breaking down all of my sticker books. So if you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button or comment down below that you want to see more and um, hit that subscribe button if you just want to follow the channel and see what I put up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.